right, it's not quite opening morning, second opening, second day. Yesterday was complete bust, couldn't get a whole landowner, wasn't any antelope on any of the public land or any of the state sections, but uh, last night I finally did get a whole landowner. Tried for a week, um, and uh, yeah, I'm off to go, go check it out. Uh, it's more of an exploratory day, I've never been on the place, looked at it a lot on Google Earth, my original plan was to go north of the road, but there's moving cattle in there today, I'm going to send up a ground blind on a, on a little pond, so I'm going to have to go south instead, but uh, I can go about 5 miles south, uh, 15,000 acres, so plenty of land to explore, seen a lot of goats on it, and uh, hoping the forest is some success, so she'll uh, my antelope hunting is being interrupted by a helicopter. Must be learning how to fly. Gonna hang out into the leaves and then probably walk back to the truck and go to a new area. <laughs> the, uh, there's some antelope back here and they ran and ran and ran. He was pushing them out and then he went back over here and pushed some more out. So hopefully he runs out of gas soon and <laughs> leaves the area. There's a bunch of antelope about 150 yards that way. A little out of range, but I'm waiting. Hopefully they'll walk this way eventually. shot my first antelope with a bow. Took me about six years to do it. I'm so excited. Noise and he stopped and started coming back, coming back, coming back and got to about 58 and I was like just up so I drew my bow. He kept coming a little further and then he turned sideways and there was the arrow and nailed it. He didn't go 30 yards. He went 30, he just you know ran over here and just fell over and died. So pretty sweet. Um, it's, a, it's a great little buck. It's got a lot, a lot of character to him too. You can see that uh, <laughs> that antler is kind of deformed, I guess. Pretty sweet though. So yeah, I I can't complain. I'm pretty pumped right now. So now it's time to cut him up and throw him in that pack right there. Crew cab, that thing will make this trip very easy. Well, it's 8.30, it's going to be dark in 10 15 minutes, so for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to gut them real quick and throw the whole thing in the pack. Um, like I was saying, it is, it is a great way to haul animals out. Um, I hauled my last antelope out like this. Actually, that was my dad's, and then I uh, also hauled a bear out like that that this spring. Um, if you have time and if you have to walk really far, it's it's best, to, like I was saying, to, to throw it in, you know, quarter by quarter. You lighten the load too. So, but since I don't have that far to go, I'm just gonna gut them real quick, throw them in the pack, and uh, get out of here. So, it's really dark now. I put I just uh, opened up a crew cab. Just dropped the whole antelope in. His backside sticking out one side, and his front side on the other. And then uh, I use the side compression straps to secure a leg on each side, so it doesn't like try to fall out. Um, this feels pretty dang good for an entire antelope, you know. Just gutted it and uh, got it as quick as I could. Threw it in. 
the the day pack lid is a great addition because it really secures everything from the top otherwise you just got two straps isn't is essential if you do it this way um, but if you have a load that, that sticks up real high um, I, well, I, I, I don't hunt anywhere without the, the lid when I'm using the crew cab so well I'm gonna head on my way I got about a half a mile to the car easy walk and, uh, yeah get to butchering so pretty stoked this is awesome out out in the middle of the prairie here and uh, made it happen